hey guys so we got this uh, uh, I guess it doesn't it's not labeled but uh, it's an MS 170 or a uh, still 017 and dad's been having problems with this thing for a little bit um, the carburetor is a non-adjustable carburetor in these and I found one that you could uh, that you could adjust online um, if I figure out how to do it all I'll, I'll put the link into where I found it it was actually on eBay so let's uh, get right to tearing into this thing we'll get the bar off it bar and chain that just is gonna make it easier to work around. Uh, do Normally I have one of those just normal, you know, the one with the chain uh, screwdriver on it, tensioner, and normally it's all right here, but we'll go to our actual tools today. That's not a big deal. Two nuts, obviously. Take the chain off. And those are uh, three quarter inch. Which, normally they're three quarter. Uh, and, well, I guess it depends. One's three quarter, some could be 13 sixteenths because they also fit the spark plug. But I think in this case, I think this spark plug is three quarter, yeah. Um, and then uh, the other side would be either five eighths or nine sixteenths, depending on what uh, the other portion of your side of the wrench is. So this is my MS two hundred and fifty over here. So we'll move it so we can put this little quarter inch drive set of ratchets there. Still waiting on a C clip for that. The first ones that I ordered came. Uh, I didn't know. I didn't. Should have looked, but I didn't realize they were coming from overseas. So it's gonna be a while for them. So I found another set and ordered them closer. And I got uh, I got those. Um, but they're their metric but it goes from three to five and I either need a four or maybe I need some SAE which I don't know that for a fact on these uh, still chainsaws I would have thought they'd be metric you know who knows assuming you know what assuming does right assume makes an ASS out of you and me, assume. Yeah, you, me, gotcha. All right, so I believe if the memory just wants to serve me, that those should be eight millimeter. Okay, there's two eight millimeter nuts that hold this plastic housing on here and they also hold the carburetor on. So one of these one of these is often a bear. I think it's this one. So in order to get it a lot of times if you pick up on the saw and the handle will kind of settle down you can almost push down on the handle a little. This one you can turn this a lot easier. And now this this nut here sometimes falls off, and then you gotta search for it. So this is where a little magnet would be good. But it's possible that this one will cooperate. Just kind of once you know that it's gonna be a pain in the butt, you just kind of pay more attention rather than just yanking it. 
All right, so this is like a little wiggle wiggle, kind of like turn it up a little and wiggle at the same time. And there it is. This is that plastic piece that the air breather sets in. And there's some dead spiders and other stuff in there. So we'll clean that out before we're done. All right. And then you got the choke. Spin this guy around. You got the choke lever here that just pops up and out. And once it's up, you can pull it towards you. And this little piece here that goes to the choke, that comes out. And this stays hooked to this wire. I mean, you could pull that wire out. It actually is smaller at this end than this end, so it just slides out. Okay, the only other thing that's hooked is the throttle, but you should be able to lift it right straight up. You have to kind of move the throttle just a little bit, uh, like you're activating it. Now, once that's done, if this will pull back, and the only thing left hooked to it should be the fuel line, which is on this side, on my side. So we'll wiggle it back. There we go. And then up and off, there's the fuel line right there. And you should be able to pull that right off. There we go. Now, if you're not going to let this thing, if you're going to leave this thing set for a long length of time, you can find a bolt, stick it in the end of that, just to keep dirt and spiders and what have you out. This is a this is a handle bolt, I think, for like my 044 or, or like an 066 or whatever. So that fits in there just fine. It, it This is going to be done today, so I didn't really need to do that. And then just make sure that this gasket is clean here. Okay, so now the problem with these is that there's no adjusting needles. Let's see if I block the light and yeah, in that hole right, those holes right there. There's no, there's no needles. Okay. So let's get into our little mystery bag here. They. And this is the way that a lot of stuff comes, uh, and it's, I don't know why it's cheaper, but it is. So, we got a new coil, not that we need one, but now we have one. Uh, this is an oil, the oil pickup tube that goes inside the tank. That's the wire to the shut off. That goes from the handle all the way over to the coil itself. That's great. This is uh, another carb boot sealer, which is a little different than the other one. No, no, I was looking at the backside. So that's that's good. If that ever goes, this is a fuel. This is a fuel hose. Uh, this end goes into the tank, and then this side here would hook up to the carburetor. And then we have the fuel filter. There should be an oil one. Yep, there's the oil one. All right. New sparky plug, fuel uh, air filter, and another ground wire that probably goes, it's probably this green one right here. This green with a yellow stripe. I can't see the other end of it, but I gonna say it probably goes down and grounds to something down in there and that would make sense okay so this is a new carbututer carbuturator fancy stuff okay so C right see these holes here this one actually has needle valves on it. 
Now the difference, if you look at these, right, everything looks real close. Uh, the adjuster for the throttle is here, where this is the idle adjustment, which this is like an idle air screw. This adjusts the throttle open or closed, the throttle plate. And then here's your high and low speed, low speed, high speed. Choke, everything else looks identical. Uh, let's go back in that direction. The fuel, the fuel hoses point in the same direction. So the difference you can see is that this piece here has got a, an air breather that goes to the air breather and it normally goes in this hole here. Now, what I was wondering, I was wondering, I think I might have to switch it over just because of the way that it mounts. It actually looks like it would work just like that, but uh, it creates like a, a positive pressure on top of this. So I think I'm going to change it just so that it, uh, just so that it's normal looking to everybody else if they ever turn to it. And then where this carburetor sets, these holes here, I had tried opening this one up at one point uh, because I was looking for the adjustment screw. So let's get this out of the way. Come on, there we go. And then we'll slide this on like so. And now we can see that it's actually this hole and this hole, right? And then this little tiny one down here. So we're gonna have to open these up, uh, basically drill new holes or bigger holes as the case may be here, uh, which is fine. Uh, because the air comes up through here and then goes down through here. So any holes that we open up here will be okay. All right. So the next question is, is the drill and battery here or in the truck? There's the drill. And I believe the battery is in the truck. So let me, let me pause you guys there and I'll be back. All right, so rather than make you guys sit and watch me do uh, this switch over here from this carb to this carb and drill these out, I'll switch you over to uh, time lapse, which might make it go a little faster. So let me do that. And I still have to go to the truck, but I was just thinking about this whilst I was thinking about that. So uh, I'll be back. And when I come back, you will be on time lapse video. And then I'll try and do something in the end. Hey guys, so I'm in here with Lily and we're trying to load this uh, video and for some reason the GoPro just, the last piece that I recorded, uh, putting it together the last little bit after everything was switched over, um, gone. Par for the course. Anyway, so... It went together like normal, 
started up, ran good. Uh, I took it up to the wood pile and uh, it was cutting good. Then it would kind of lay over a little like uh, it was not getting enough fuel. So I would adjust it a little and then it would smoke a little. So I would adjust it a little and I'm like, what the heck? So after like two or three times of doing that, it, it kind of surged a little bit. And I looked at the tank and yeah, I was running out of gas. So it's together. It runs really good. I let it idle. The other video, you could see it idling. I think I probably idled for a couple minutes just on that video. Um, that was one of the problems with the saw before that is it just wouldn't idle uh, after it was warm. So all in all, uh, it went together good. And uh, that I found on eBay. So let me go there real quick and look, see what I can find. So that was $14, $13.99. And it came out of uh, Dayton, New Jersey. And I'll try and leave a picture here of, of what I looked up and, and what it works on. It was uh, three or four different saws. Um, and it probably works for more than that. So I'll try and see if I can get that picture somewhere in here, uh, maybe even at the end. And uh, I love it. Works great. Stay safe. Bye-bye.